Hi guys, welcome back. So, I have a new setup because I moved. I'm now living with my boyfriend, so this is my new setup. I quite like it actually. It may be a bit too dark, I don't know. I'll have to see when I'm editing. But for now I quite like it. So today we're going to talk about another feeling, another issue that is very very prevalent within self-harmers, but that is almost never talked about. It's the fact of having a very hard time with your scars fading and being very triggered by that. As I usually do, I made a poll on Instagram to see if it was really prevalent or if it was just something I and a few other people dealt with and these are the results, 90%. So the vast majority of at least my followers have felt this way. So the first thing I want to say in this video is if you have felt this way, you're not alone. I know it's very strange, I know if you're not a self-harmer or if you're a self-harmer that haven't felt this way, it can be very hard to understand why someone might feel this way, but my first point is you're not alone. It's very very common and I'm gonna try to give a few explanations to why I think as someone who has self-harmed why this could be this way. And again, as I say in all of these videos, this is mostly my opinion as a former self-harmer. I am not a psychiatrist, I'm not a psychologist, I'm a student in social work, but I am not a professional in mental health. I am just uh, giving you my experience as a former self-harmer to try to relate with you if you're self-harming or if you're a close one from someone who is self-harming. And also please, if you are a mental health professional that is dealing with self-harmers quite regularly, please acknowledge that this is a feeling that they might have and this is a feeling that you might uh, reinforce without wanting to and this is something they probably won't know how to talk about with you but this is something that might happen to them. So acknowledge it and be the one talking about this feeling with them. So anyway, now that all those disclaimers are out of the way, we can start with the video. The first point I could give is everything that is related to uh, the baby cut syndrome aspect. If you don't know what baby cut syndrome is, I will leave the video here. It's a concept I have invented to talk about uh, how often self-harmers feel in competition with each other and with themselves, about how well they can hurt themselves and uh, the feeling of pride, I guess you could say, or the feeling of belittlement you can get when you self-harm uh, less than others and something like that. Uh, and the fact that you will at some point so often believe that you're a good self-harmer if you hurt yourself good enough. So that would be my first point. When scars heal, they become less noticeable. Sometimes they disappear, you can see a wound, but it won't leave any scarring. And I think this is the first way that it can be very triggering is the fact that it would set off your whole baby cut syndrome and your competition with yourself and the competition with others and the fact that maybe you feel like you're not a good self-harmer even if it doesn't exist, no one is a good self-harmer, that doesn't mean anything but that's often how you will feel and like you have no valid struggles and all of that I think that's definitely um, the first one and also another point to mention that can be very very confusing and can mess with your head quite a lot is that sometimes small wounds can create rather big scars and sometimes bigger wounds can create smaller scars. So there's this um, element of impredictability. And that leads me to my second point, which is about control. I think, at least for me, self-harm was a lot about control. Controlling my emotions, of course, but also controlling how my body looked. Which is quite weird to say, but it was. I could control how my body looked, where I had scars, what they looked like and all of that. Or at least that's what I thought, because I could control what wounds I created. But you can't control how your body will heal it. So I think that can be another element to why it can be very hard to see your scars heal and your scars fade. Is that you lose that element of control that you were looking for. A third point I could make is that a lot of the time self-harm is a way to materialize your suffering and your emotions and all of that. It goes from feelings that aren't concrete things, that are things in your head that nobody else can see, to concrete stuff, physical stuff. If one of your motivations to self-harm is to externalize all your pain and all your suffering, then it can become very distressing to see this go away. So those are the three explanations I would give. At least those are the ones that would relate to me. But if you have other explanations, as always, please leave them in comments so other people can relate to them and hopefully we can all go forward together with all of that. I will leave both in the i cards and in the uh, description other videos that are related to the subject that I have made. I hope you like my new setup, I like it. Tell me in the comments what you think. If you'd like to chat with me or see daily content from me on Self Harm, you can hit me up on Instagram, link is in the description. As always, I insert you every DM I get, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.